Hi there, kids. This is a show where we do super cool science stuff together. And today's show is all about electricity. Shocking. <laughs> Isn't that right, Spinny Winnie? Yeah. And let's introduce today's guest, an electric eel. Hello. Thanks for having me. I have to stay in this saltwater tank, though. I live in the ocean. That's right. You're like a dolphin, yeah? Huh? No, no, I'm an electric eel, not a dolphin. But some people called me a knife fish. Oh, stabby stabby. <laughs> well, I don't stab, but I do shock. Organs in my body release powerful electric shocks up to 650 volts. That's five times greater than an electric outlet in your house. Oh, wow. You must shock other sea creatures all the time. That's what I would do. <laughs> Well, no, I'm actually not aggressive at all. I just use my shocking powers to keep my predators at bay. Boring! <laughs> ah, the mystery box! The mystery box appears every show with something new inside. Hey, kids, guess what's in the mystery box before the end of the show? Wow, so what do you think is in there? I don't know. I know what's in the mystery box. I do, I do. Here's the first clue. It's friends with electricity. <laughs> hmm, friends with electricity? That's strange. Let's go to Dr. Rita Fox for Socratica Kids question of the day. And one scoop for Bingley and one for Jane. Come here, Pickle. I have a scoop for you. And I'm not forgetting about you, Cooper. Oh. Mimo, you already had a scoop. Oh! It's my yeah. turn! Ahem. Hello, children. We have an awesome question today from Avery, age four, from Portland, Oregon. Avery asks, what is electricity? Electricity is a type of energy. It is the flow of tiny particles called electrons. Electricity can be static and current. Static electricity is when it stays in one place. For example, have you ever rubbed a balloon on your head a bunch of times and slowly pulled it away to see it stick? Cooper Cat, get over here! Oh, Topa! Hi! Balloon! What? What? type of electricity flows. That is, electrons move and carry electrical energy from one place to another. Electric currents are used to power electrical devices like lamps, video game consoles, and toasters. Awesome! That was a great question, Avery. I look forward to receiving more questions from all of you. You could ask me any questions that are related to science. Just leave your question in the comment section below. Be sure to tell us your name, age, and where you're from. Back to you, Crump. Oh, that was a great question. Maybe Avery's question can help me figure out what's in the box. Electricity is used to operate devices like toasters. Oh, is it toast? And toast is friends with everything. Yum, 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 yum. It's not toast. Oh, here's the second clue. It's found in Nature! Oh, I think I know what might be in- I hate guessing! Let's go to Socratica Kid's big word of the day! Leonard! What? Uh, what do you mean, what? It's time for the big word of the day! Oh, yeah! Hi, kids! Today's big word of the day is hydropower! Hydropower is a way to turn moving water into electricity! Falling water has a lot of energy, and humans have learned to harness it to create energy. The most common type of hydroelectric power plants use a dam on a river to store water in a reservoir. Water released from the reservoir flows through a turbine, spinning it, which in turn activates a generator to produce electricity. Cool! Because of hydro plants, Towns around the world, like in the United States, can have electricity. That's right, because of hydro plants, we can have lights at night, watch movies, microwave food, and so much more! That's it. 
Oh, uh, good job, Leonard. Good job. Uh, hey, Leonard. Uh, look on the table. Huh? Ah! It's back! I know. It always comes back. What's in there? Well, we have two clues so far. It's friends with electricity and is found in nature. Oh, we were just talking about the big word of the day, hydropower. Is it water? Good guess, but I'm afraid not. Here's clue number three. It's created within a cloud. What? I think I know. Is it? Oh, this is so hard. My brain is literally fried. Let's see what Scientist Charlie has for us today. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Scientist Charlie, and today I have no experiment. You see kids, electricity is very dangerous, and we shouldn't play with it. So instead of an experiment, I have a very important guest to interview. Please welcome Benjamin Franklin! Hello there, Benny! Hello there, Charlie, and hello there, children! Can I call you Benny? I suppose that's all right. Great! So, Benny, what do you know about electricity? Well, Charlie, I conducted many experiments in my lifetime to learn all about electricity. A very famous experiment I did was to prove that lightning is electricity. So, how'd you prove it, Benny boy? During a thunder and lightning storm, I took a kite and flew it outside. What? You flew a kite during a thunderstorm? Ha <laughs> ha! That is so silly. That's not all I did. I took a metal key and tied it to the kite before I flew it. You tied a key to a kite? The devil! <laughs> to be a stand-up comedian! That doesn't make any sense! That's not all. I took a thin metal wire and tied one end of the wire to the key and the other end to a Leyden jar. A Leyden jar is a container for storing an electrical charge. You could say this was an early type of battery. <laughs> A key to a kite, a jar is part of a battery. <laughs> Charlie, these aren't jokes. I did this experiment to show that lightning could be transferable from the key and captured into the Leyden jar. I successfully proved that lightning is electricity. <laughs> wait, 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 what? You see, the electric energy of the storm charged the metal wire and the electricity transferred in the jar. I even got a little shock when I touched the key. Wait a second. We brought you on this show because we thought the lightning struck the key. Actually, that is a common misconception that the lightning hit the key. The energy in the storm charged the wire. I was very lucky that the lightning didn't strike the key. If it did, I would have gotten seriously hurt. Just look at this picture of a tree struck by lightning. Yikes! Wowza! Yes, lightning is very powerful. I even invented the lightning rod to keep buildings safe when struck by lightning. Really? Yes, the taller the building, the more at risk it becomes to being hit by lightning. Without a lightning rod, uh -huh. a building struck by uh -huh. lightning could catch on fire. A oh, lightning yeah? rod is somewhat similar to my key experiment. What? You see, we place a metal rod to the top of the building with a metal wire that runs down to the ground. These rods attract the lightning and let the electricity run down to the ground, keeping the building safe. Wow. You are incredible, Benny Franklin! Aw, oh, thank you, Charlie. We can all be curious about the world. That is so true. Bye now! Wait, what? Whoa, who knew? Wow, what a cool guest. The best guest we've ever had on this stupid thing. How do we book that guy? Isn't he dead? <clears throat> what was that, Leonard? Oh, 
Uh, hello, uh, Early. Hi. <laughs> Uh, Want to play a game? Yeah, yeah. Leonard, get over here! What? Oh, 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 let's play a game. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this game is called Does This Need Electricity? I'll name something we use in our homes, and you guess if it needs electricity to work or not. Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, a blow dryer. Hmm. Hmm, I use a blow dryer when my fur is wet. I don't like to walk around with wet fur. <laughs> okay, but does the blow dryer need electricity to work? Well, uh, I need to style my fur before I go out, especially to parties. Crump. Okay, okay. I think it needs electricity because uh, I plug it in and turn it on with a switch. That's right. Blow dryers need electricity. Good job, Crump. Thank you. And I got it right while looking fabulous. Okay, next question. A potato. Oh, I think I know this one. A hot potato? Just a regular potato. Mashed potato? No, a normal potato. Sweet potato. Fine, a sweet potato. Ha 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 I knew it. A sweet potato needs electricity. Sorry, Crump, that's not right. A sweet or regular potato grows in the ground and doesn't need electricity to grow. Instead, it needs resources like sunlight and water. I was going to guess that. There are many plants in the ocean and they don't need electricity either. That's right, Ellie. <laughs> Oopsie, hey, give me another. You mean give us another? Okay, an air conditioner. Ellie, you can guess first since- Oh, this is more complicated than a potato. Uh, I love using an air conditioner in the summer. An air conditioner makes uh, air cool in buildings. And you know, that would take a lot of energy. Electricity is a type of energy. Uh, so I guess that an air conditioner needs electricity to work. Oh, I hope I get this right. You are right, Crump. An air conditioner does need electricity. Good job. The next one is tricky. A flashlight. Oh, that is a tricky one. No, it doesn't need it. No, no, no. Uh... Sorry, Crump. It does need electricity. It uses batteries, which is a way we can store electricity. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> and that's the game. Does it need electricity? Yay! I didn't get to guess at all. I'm sorry, Ellie. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> That's not nice. Whatever. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, yeah, the box. You can help us too, Ellie. Thanks, Leonard. Let's review the clues. It's friends with electricity, can be found in nature, and it's created with a cloud. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what it is. Is it? Rain, it's rain. <laughs> No, it's not rain. Ellie, what do you think it is? I can't take it anymore. I have to know. It's thunder. Ah, it went off in my ear. I can't hear. I can't hear. It is thunder. Great job, Ellie. When lightning strikes, electricity moves through the air and causes air particles to vibrate. The vibration is the sound we call thunder! Right in my ear! Hello! I can't, I can't hear anything! Can anyone hear me? Help! When thunder is heard nearby, it's very loud. All I hear is ringing! Help me! Serves him right. He should have waited for Ellie to guess. Hope you all got a chance to guess too. Hey Leonard, check this out. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> Good one, Ellie. <laughs> we should all be nice to animals, especially ones that can shock you. That's right. Well, that's our show. Come back next time for more science fun. Remember, there's science all around us. Bye. <gasps> hey kids, pick my video, pick my video, pick my video. No, pick my video. I am the cutest monster of all. Yeah. I am a 
on GQ Monster Magazine. Ew, yeah, right. Guys, just pick my video. He's food. He's frog legs. You want to take directions from frog legs? <laughs> <laughs>